watching Not Enough Growing TV with Dominique, and I am here with a special guest, and the special guest is... Ashley, I'm her sister. Yes, this is my sister. And no, she's not older. She's younger, okay? She's the baby sister. But she I does. think I have a spicy, 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 spicy um, podcast for y'all today. So let's just jump right into it. I want to know. For all y'all out there, because this is something I've been struggling with lately, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, in relationships, we only gonna be speaking about relationships. We're not talking about you meeting John and Patrick and Henry, or Henry, me and Diane and Dina and all them. We talking about relationships. Like, what's too much sex? In a relationship. Like, is sex important? Like, would sex make or break a relationship? Because I'm finding myself dealing with... Okay, quick backstory, right? Years and years and years and years ago, I was dealing with somebody. And the relationship to them was strictly, like, based on sex, right? But to me... First of all, I have to be 100% physically, like, attracted to my, my partner. And shame to say, I was with somebody that, that just was not the case. So, I wasn't even bothered about wanting to have sex with this person. But, you know, feeling bad, I would. Okay. <laughs> That's so bad. Y'all don't do that. Don't do that. Y'all out there don't do that. But... This person was, like, very angry and upset because I was on the phone one night, and then they was like, you know, get off the phone, whatever, whatever. So we got into this big argument because they was like, I want it. I want it. So why you got to be on the phone? And I was like, sex is not that important. Sex doesn't um, make the relationship. But so that to that person was like a deal. Yeah, that to that person was like a deal breaker. But yes, fast forward to now, I'm not going to say that it, it can make a break, but I am going to say it's the icing on the cake. So it's just as important as the actual cake. <laughs> like, I'm, <laughs> it's, I'm for real. Like the foundation of a relationship, right? Um, when you got all your good factors, trust and everything like that, you know, when you spread that icing on there, that's that finish. That's the, that's the final layer. And to me, that could be sex. So <laughs> I'm going to jump right in here. Please. I do think sex is a very important factor. It's a very, the chemistry and the way a couple connects with each other, um, is, is, it can't make or break a relationship. So I would say sex is a very important, intimate part of the relationship. Now, is it the base of the relationship? I don't think so. But it plays a big role in the relationship. Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion. I mean, it... To, okay. Like, somebody, some people could say, like, in a relationship... <sighs> They have a set, a set amount of days like they would want to have sex, right? Like, to me, I'm not going to be anal and say it got to be like a Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. I just know that I'm a very sexual person. So, I would want to be with some. <laughs> I would want to be with somebody that is just as sexual as I am. But a lot of times, it just don't work like that. Like, you, you right. partners just don't work like that. You know, you can get the... A partner that is down for the sex, but maybe not those five times of the week, maybe three times of that week. But I'm just like, I be really sitting like, cause I be upset. It upsets mm -hmm. me. <laughs> I be it angry. Yeah, it does behoove me. <laughs> for my fellow podcast or I watch this me. Yes, I'd be very upset, but then I have to remember that no, I'm not saying that, you know, am I gonna wanna like just 
tear up my whole relationship that I may have with somebody. No, but I do feel like in when you in a relationship or a situation, you, when you're dealing with somebody, it's a conversation that needs to be had. Like, hey, I know you like to do this, but can you kind of work with me? Because cause if you don't have a conversation, yeah, I'm going to assume that you're giving it to somebody else. And that's what you don't want. You don't want assumptions. You don't want your person thinking that the reason you're not sleeping with them is because you might be sleeping with somebody else. So, I'm going to say, so to the fellas out there and the women out there, if your sex drive is not where your woman's or man's is, please communicate that. Please. Because some people would just run to the next for their fulfillment. And like I said, sex is not the biggest factor, but I know it plays a big role into how someone may feel like their connection is with their other partner. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, you know, because people sometimes feel more connected or like their bond is stronger with having sex, you know, some, so for some people it plays a more important role, you know, but too much sex to me, huh? I would say, you know, like you said, no money. You know, I'm not saying Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Back when I was young, it was in a couple. Oh yeah, it was like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, at nine o'clock, ten o'clock, two o'clock, six o'clock, and maybe before we go to bed. And that's what I thought. But nowadays, with children, <laughs> I would say. We're not putting a number on it anytime where the kids is not running up around. So, crying, talking. any free time you may have. I wouldn't say not any free time. Because any free time, I might need time to myself. And mm-hmm. that don't mean come career silent on me and tell me, finna, mm-mm. Ah, no. <laughs> because I would just say anytime where we can just get into it, I'm feeling it. I'm with it. I can. I mean, even if it's the day we both off, maybe two times a day, I would say, depends on how we feel with no kids, maybe three. But otherwise, not, not every day, all day, I'm not this spring chicken anymore. I am a nice age 10. I mean, I'm an age 10, but that don't mean, that don't mean, you know, she's slowing down on, you know, in the bedroom. It's Especially if I have a partner that I am ex- absolutely 100% attracted to. Like, if you sexy to me, you sexy to me. If you sexy to me, I'm going to be putting my hands on you whenever I get a chance to put my hands on you. That's just that's just me, though. But I know some people just can't handle. And then I'm a touchy-feely type person. Anyway, so I'm, you know, that's just, I would feel like, Okay, well, what's too much? How what's too much? Okay, I'm gonna say on the average in seven days. Or you just said you can't put no. Days I would say on it. in just, seven days, too much. Too much. I can put a number on too much in seven days will be eight, nine. Eight or nine times? Yeah. I mean, because my section's gonna be kind of. Not short. short. They're going to be kind of long. So I ain't got time for about two or three long <laughs> sessions. You know what I'm saying? We need to, like, reduce it. And then so then that way we can count it, like, one big long session. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't got time. <clears throat> but otherwise than that, you know, i say, you know, about seven, no more than eight times out there, we will be just about there. Um, and that's me giving a lot. Okay, but see, those are eight short sessions. Now, I'm a I like long sessions, but I know, I know, <laughs> I <laughs> I know everybody cannot always get down with long sessions. Long sessions is when you really have mm. time, like when everybody and the kids are asleep and stuff like that. I understand that. I'm not asking and for in the it. morning. And in the morning before your kids wake up, I'm not asking for, like, long sessions all the time. All I'm asking for is, come on now, can can you make me feel like I'm not asking too much? Like, if that's what I want. So, 
Um, I just think that in a relationship, it's very important to communicate what the other partner likes and what the other partner wants, especially like if you with somebody and let's just say y'all transitioning into like marriage or something like that. You don't want to go in and thinking your partner is down for the get down. But then when you get married, it's like they, they tired. You know, right. I can't have sex like you want to have sex. Like what? Well, but you didn't tell me. Uh. So <laughs> you didn't say that's what you didn't want. <laughs> so, I mean, so, I would hope at marriage point you guys have a um a conversation a about good understanding about each other's sex drive and sexual needs. But, but I some can't people say, don't. I can. That's why I was just gonna say. I can say some people do not take the time to have no open conversations no. with their partner about what they like, what they don't like. Um, and me personally, because I know I'm trying to be with somebody for a long haul, I got to tell you what I don't like and what I like. Because if you're doing stuff that I don't like and then you get upset like I don't like you, but really I don't like what you're doing, then we have a miscommunication. So then sex can come to a time where we just not having it as much because maybe the person may be not feeling like they're doing good enough. That's why everything, like we said, communication is key. Mm-hmm. Because if you're touching every part that I like, then even when I don't want to, then maybe I will want to. Right. You know? Right. Oh, but I'm going to say this. Just because I might be touching on you, because you said you know you might you like to touch. I like I to do, touch you, I touch do, you. I do, I do, But I don't like for my man to feel like that because I touchy, touchy. I want some sexy, <laughs> sexy. I just want to touch, you know. <laughs> I'm a very hands-on person, you know, and I might want to caress, but that don't mean I want to sex, you know, but... I like caress. I like, you know, but most of the times, if I'm caressing, you know, I mean, I I like to touch and stuff like that, but, yeah, that's pretty much where I be going. I be going for, uh, okay, you know. I'm just a... I am a... Mm, I'm not a prude, okay? I like what I like, and I want a man that likes what I like. Not saying that he has to absolutely match me a hundred, a hundred and ten percent. I'm just saying it needs to be some understanding. So, uh, I guess the conclusion of this video is, fellas, please communicate with y'all, with y'all, woman, women. Please communicate with y'all, man, because you don't want the other party thinking. Oh, all of a sudden they don't have an attraction to you sexually, so they don't want to give it to you, and you don't want that partner thinking that you going out giving it to somebody else. You know, right. just be honest about what you want, what you don't want. You know, just talk to your person. And not only for a partner to assume that being in a relationship, like you said, communication, and do not just because you may feel like you're not getting what you want or getting satisfied from your partner to go out and go get it from somewhere else. No, 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 no. Like we said, communicate. Don't be ashamed. If you like certain things and you think your partner might be like taking it back, just let them know. See how they respond. If they love you enough, they are, you know, name time.